hi everyone in uh, today's video i am going to take up a new topic which is very important for oral exam preparation now in this video i am going to talk about a certain change that has come a certain amendment that has come to a resolution and i am a resolution this came in last year in 2024 but uh, apparently students are still not aware of it and this was brought to my attention by an oral exam surveyor an oral exam uh, examiner and uh, that is why i am discussing this uh, amendment with you whether you are a DEC officer or an engineer officer you should be aware of this new amendment that came in last year so i am through resolution mepc.36279 approved a change to the contents of the bunker delivery note and this change actually involved inclusion of a statement on flashpoint so appendix 5 of marpol annex 6 details the information which shall be displayed on the bunker delivery note currently reporting the fuel flashpoint is not a mandatory requirement however from 1st may 2024 bunker delivery notes should state a specific flashpoint value of the fuel if flashpoint is below 70 degrees celsius Otherwise, a statement that the flash point has been measured at or above 70 degrees Celsius should be noted. So, a bunker delivery note is the standard document required by Annex 6 of MARPOL which contains information on fuel oil delivery. It is the responsibility of the fuel oil suppliers to provide the bunker delivery note which must remain on the vessel for inspection purposes for a period of 3 years after the fuel has been delivered. Moreover, the appended Appendix 5 of MARPOL NX6 also stipulates the relevant test method for the flashpoint. Determination of flashpoint, closed cup method, procedure A for distillate fuels or procedure B for residual fuels. Bunker suppliers should start to put this information on the bunker delivery note for fuel deliveries on or after 1st May 2024. However, in cases where this information is missing, then as fuel buyers, this should be flagged with the supplier and recorded by issuing a letter of protest. And that is why it is important for both engineers and deck officers to be aware of this requirement especially senior deck officers and senior engineer officers this has been noted as a deficiency recently by many um, port state and flag state inspectors and this has been brought to our attention as well to make the students aware sometimes seafarers do not make themselves updated with latest amendments to regulations or resolutions now this is an imo resolution so make sure you are aware of it if you have any comments um, please write in the comment section below if this is something that you have observed on your ships currently please let me know if you can send me a picture that would be fantastic attach it in the comment section i look forward to reading your comments and uh, also knowing how do you keep yourselves updated with latest amendments and changes to IMO resolutions. This is something that I think all seafarers should learn from each other to keep themselves updated, especially as you become senior officers. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.